Hi, hi everyone. Today I'd like to share the following question. When will this be over? I'd like to mention four positive changes in the, in the next few weeks that, that I see uh, in, in tourism. Uh, I, my, uh, my hotels are still listed on booking.com and, and other websites, so they're open even f f for this day from today onwards till you can book for next year as well. So there will be four positive things I will mention. But back to my question, when will this be over? So um, I do miss cinemas. I do miss the thermal spas, I, I must admit. Um, but I'm trying my best not to allow outside and external circumstances uh, influence my day-to-day, my -day, in influence the way I'm happy, the way I live my life, the way I fill my days with a warm and loving heart. I will not allow outside circumstances to influence this. And this is, this is very important, I, I believe. For me, I don't really care when this will be over. It could last six months, it could last six days, six weeks, it could, it could be until next year. But I don't want to put so much emphasis on when this will be over. If I wake up each day and I create a warm and loving day, a positive day each and every single day. So it's my choice. It's my choice to read the news to see if a terrorist killed 40 people or not in, in, in another country. Or it's my choice to to pray, to say grace, to, to say how um, how thankful we, we are, how we are, are we are alive, we are healthy, and so on. So uh, I, I don't really I don't really care when this will be over because we always have to adapt to change all of us all of us will die some uh, someday or later all of us have have to adapt to change in, in one way or another and this is all this is all a cleansing now I, I believe so this is all I wanted to say before the four positive things the first positive thing is is uh, bookings that that are coming in from my hotel so i'm getting i'm getting lots and lots of bookings for may for end of may and june um before it was september october but now bookings are coming in from the uk from switzerland france italy spain poland romania we're getting lots of bookings uh, we're getting 30 bookings a day uh for for may and and june july so that's excellent news. People are uh, a lot of people are very positive, want to see the world, and uh, want to make this uh, be over as soon as possible. The second one is I just had a friend three days ago. Okay, so that's April the tenth, three days ago, uh, during the, this lockdown situation, where uh, he traveled from France from Monaco. Uh, so he traveled for over four countries to get to Hungary and th there was only one checkpoint um, and that also lasted around 40 seconds so um, basically the what according to the media right we would think that you know there would be hours and hours of, of waiting and and maybe police saying no you're not allowed to come into the country but uh, not really. Um, he just uh, he just boom. He just went over uh, four countries and he got to Hungary um, very easy. So the borders are open. Uh, it's not true that the borders are locked down and nobody in, nobody out. That's not really true because the second thing, um, the second positive thing, or the third positive thing, is that there are thousands of people day by day uh, traveling. Most of them, okay, 90% of them are traveling to, to, to transport food. Obviously, the, the avocados and the mangoes that we eat are, and in the stores, the, those are not grown in, in Austria, Hungary, or Germany. They have to come from somewhere. Okay, so there are planes. People are traveling. Uh, there are people, uh, there are thousands of people crossing the borders every day. And, there, and those truck drivers... Those doctors, those bankers, uh, those people in ph uh, pharmacy, pharmaceuticals, 
they're they're staying at hotels uh, so they are traveling there is tourism it's minimal obviously it's it's very minimal but there is tourism um so that's that's one thing which the media doesn't really talk about there're also people with two passports with dual cit citizenship there they can travel if they want so um People could say, if someone was, let's say, a German and a Spanish passport, they could say, oh, yeah, I have family in Spain. I have to go to Spain. And then after a week from Spain, they can, you know, they can go back to Germany. So there are uh, the, the people with two passports can travel easier now these days. Um, the, the fourth one is fear. So... Um, what I see now is that people who are um, more open to go out and, and go for walks in the forest and, and go running, go uh, bike riding, they also meet with other um, uh, like-minded people. So uh, people who are o open with going out, they, they meet with other like-minded. So like-minded minds attract each other. So this this is a this is a very I I also met a lot of people now who are more open and and like minded to me so I I I really appreciate that I really appreciate every day that that I that I have also the the ones at the top are very scared of the people who are not afraid now so they they want us to be afraid they want us to stay at home they want us to be in in our houses full time and be able to check what we're doing online what we're ordering what we're buying what kind of videos we're watching what we're posting they they see everything uh, i will not allow anyone to create fear in in my mind i i, I will not allow it so these 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 this is these are the external circumstances I was talking about. I I will not allow this, and they're terrified with those people who have have an open free mind and are not afraid of this. And because there are two things people do, a anything that we do that that humans do are based on two things: either we do it out of love, or we do it out of fear. So that is why I I try to to have more and more love in my heart and in my day-to-day -day things. That is why I do not really care how long this goes on for. I, I, I don't really care. I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying my life. I'm reading, I'm running, I'm playing with my son. I'm meeting people, um, I'm playing guitar. So I'm enjoying every day and um, I just wish everyone to, to have uh, also a warm and loving heart and 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 uh, a, a day which is perfect every each and every single day and the last question I want to ask everyone is what are we really afraid of what's the worst worst situation that that can happen what are we afraid of because uh, I believe that um, a lot of the governments, a lot of the people at the very top, they want us to be afraid. They want us to be at home. Um, and because that it's in a way it's it's control. If it's true that there are there are uh, because of AI, there are thousands of databases and they can check they obviously they see people, anyone anyone with a smartphone, they see that if you're at home, uh, the whole week and you go out once once a week shopping then they know that you you're the one who follows the rules people who are going out every day they can also see that and apparently there is a list of of the people who are not afraid to stay inside they they're going out every, on a daily ba basis they're meeting people so apparently and th this is just what i heard from another video that there are people there, there is a list where they can check and they can track those people who are meeting, going out, and who are not. This is the easiest time to track, uh, to to track this, right? Because everything's online. If you think all our privacy laws, uh, they they see almost everything. So the uh, the kids at school, we have online schooling. Even the lawyers are working online. 
uh, online coaching, online education, everything's online. So they, they can sense. And you know, you know what's interesting on Facebook, when I used to go to um, uh, seminars back last year and there were 50 people at a, at a seminar, then the people um, that I've uh, people that I've never met, Facebook uh, Facebook puts up those people that were were at the seminar that time. So they they've never mentioned those people before, but before they said, "Oh, you, you have the you have these people as common friends." And the out of the 50 people, at least 10 people were all uh, listed at the top of the search on, on my Facebook as common friends. So Facebook knows when the 50 people are together and it's 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 the, the AI is 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 uh, incredible how it how how it works and I, I believe it's working the same way now as well they can they know if there are 20 people or 50 people meeting with not so many probably these days but um, they there's so much information that they can store now uh, which is just very interesting well anyway uh, I wish everyone a warm and loving Easter uh, today's Easter Monday and uh, I just I just w wish for everyone to wake up with a warm and loving heart. And if you have any questions, please write in the comments below. Thank you. Bye.